Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Lorraine and for all new here, welcome to my channel. Every single day This video po is magpe-prepare po ako ng monkey bread. And uh, yeah, since meron po akong biscuit dough and malapit na po siyang mag-expire, hindi ko po alam kung ano gagawin sa kanya. Naisip ko na gawin na lang siyang monkey bread. And nagki-crave din po yung anak ko ng something na may cinnamon. So, naisipan kong gawin na lang tong monkey bread. Actually, Marami nang gumawa nito and maybe alam na alam nyo na kung ano yung monkey bread. But then, ipapakita ko pa rin sa inyo kung paano ko siya ginawa. And actually, madalas ko din naman talaga tong gawin. And napakasarap po ng monkey bread. So, eto po yung itsura niya. Ayan. So, kung nakakalimutan na po ng iba, eh ganito po siya gawin. <laughs> so, hindi naman po ako professional na baker or cook or something like that. But, isi-share ko lang po sa inyo kung paano ko po siya ginagawa. Okay? So, ganito po yung itsura niya sa paggawa po ng monkey bread. Kailangan po natin ng limang ingredients. So, ano po yung mga ingredients natin? Pwede din po kayong gumawa ng uh, dough from scratch. But, ito po yung ginamit ko, yung biscuit dough. Na-fix na po siya. Easy to use. Ayan, madali lang po siyang gamitin. Kung mag-crave po kayo, madali lang po siyang kunin. So, ito po yung mga kailangan. By preparing monkey bread, we need five ingredients. So, we have white sugar, brown sugar, cinnamon, butter, and biscuit dough. I'm using biscuit dough because this is ready and easy to use. So, now we're going to prepare our cinnamon sugar, which is the white sugar and cinnamon. We're going to mix this together. So, we need a Ziploc bag to prepare our cinnamon sugar. So, just like this, we're going to mix this together. I love using this because this is easier to use. So just like this. Now I get a pizza cutter to cut this one and this is easier to make. Just like this. Okay, I'm gonna cut it into quarter guys. So just cut it into quarter just like this. So all you have to do is to mix all the single pieces of a dough in a Ziploc bag together with the cinnamon sugar. So, it must be like this. Ito po yung ating spring form or yung molds. Ang inisprayhan ko po siya na oven spray. And or pwede nyo naman pong lagyan ng butter or something like that kung wala po kayong pang spray. And then, yung mga, mga dough po natin, so yung na-coat na po natin ng cinnamon sugar, pwede na po natin siyang iayon sa ating molds. So, ayan po ang itsura niya.
that's it. It's done, guys. So, ayan po yung itsura niya. Oh my goodness. Napakasarap. Look at that. So, ayan, napakasarap po nito and tikman na po natin. And, ito pong pagkain na to is finger food lang po siya. Hindi na po kailangang i-slice. And, pwede nyo na po siyang kunin one by one. Ayan, napakasarap po niya. So, tikman na po natin and maraming maraming salamat po sa panunood. So, ito na po siya guys. Ayan na siya. So, let me try this. Tikman na po natin. And si Anakis is hindi na po siya nakapaghintay. Mas gusto po kasi niya ito na mainit-init pa. So, masarap po siya na medyo mainit-init pa. Tapos, sabayan nyo ng kape or tea. So, ako naman sasabayan ko ito ng tea. So, tikman na po natin. Mmm! Mmm! <laughs> Kain po tayo, guys. Kasi yung sugar coating niya na yung caramel niya po. Ayan. Napakasarap po ng combination ng caramel, ng cinnamon. Kasi ang sarap po. I-try niyo po ito guys. It's so yummy. At hindi niyo po pagsisisihan na gumawa kayo nito. Okay? So yun lang po guys. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. And for more videos, please click the subscribe button with the notification bell. Para ma-notified kayo every time na meron akong bagong videos. Thank you so much for watching. And keep safe everyone. Till my next video. Bye! Mm, cheer up. Cheer up, cheer up. Mm.